Space is dark, and it is Dangus. But this is no concern for I, Captain Spatula, the most Dangus pilot this side of Seoul, solver of the great space mysteries, purveyor of fine goods and tobacco products, and an occasional murderer. No shields are too buffed, no thrusters too thrusty, and what's this shadow doing on my face? Where's that shadow even coming from? Hold on, I gotta just rotate the ship here. Okay, let me just... No, that made it worse. Okay. Uh, nope, that might do... Yay! That's the, that's the spot. Okay, uh, hold on, let me just start over. Uh, how do I start this music again? Uh, there, there. Oh, yeah, there we go. Captain Spatula here with another hot log in my space diary. Lost in the beta timeline. Only my ship and my wits to guide me. Even my face somehow seems unfamiliar. Why is it covered in shadow again? Jesus H. Christ! Where's that shadow coming from? Oh, okay, there we go. Nope, too far. Ah, uh, that's the ticket. Oh, man, that double chin. Maybe that shadow is kind of working for me. But hey, this is so cool. I can see all over my ship now. Okay, let me see if I can figure out where that shadow is coming from. Oops, I keep forgetting these new controls. Oh, there's that. I'm gonna stop the music. Nope, nope that's not that. Uh, oh, the shadow must have been coming from that station. I'm good. Target is splashed. So that's called flying under the influence, and uh, fortunately, the local authorities were kind enough to only revoke my flight status temporarily and force me into community service by becoming a co pilot on other people's ships. Not so bad. Let them do the flying. I can focus on shooting things. Sounds more like a vacation than parole. But uh, multi-crew works like this. You just, you know, click the button up there, and then it puts you here, and then it puts it back there. And then you go back, and then you click some more buttons, and then uh, see how bloody easy this is? You just click on that, and then you do that, and then, uh, yeah, you keep on keeping on just like that. It's simple. You just keep clicking the buttons, and eventually something will happen. Eventually, something will happen. Something will happen. Okay, okay, okay. Yay, it worked. Angus Thermopylae. Yes, sir. Thermo Thermopile? Hello. Can, can you hear me? How's it going? Oh, yeah. Hello there. Alright, this is my first time, so I have no idea what I'm doing. Well, if you haven't set the bindings for this, you're gonna have to do that first. I just did that, but I'm trying to remember. Well, if you want to be in a fighter, I think you got to go into the menu between your legs and select the fighter. Right. And actually, it looks like the other commander is the uh, gunner already, so that's the only option. I see. Okay, here we go. Oh, am I excited. I finally get the, the chance to be a fighter for someone else's wing. This is amazing. This is the, the best thing I've ever experienced. The most fun I've ever had playing this universe. Oh, what? <laughs> Beta. Okay, I, I just want to take a short moment to acknowledge that this is an alternate time. It's not a complete and accurate representation of the final universe. That's why it's called a beta universe. It's not done yet. That's what beta means. Don't go around thinking the developers don't know what they're doing. They may be nasty, terrible people who treat us like animals, hurting us towards the fulfillment of their diabolical plan to remake reality and put human beings inside of a computer, but they're not fools. They use this beta universe to test humanity, Find out which way they can torture us the best. So don't let your guard down. Oh, here we go. Wow, a beluga. I haven't been on one of these before. I hope Willie doesn't get jealous. Hello, lady captain. I'm, I'm your new co-pilot, Mr. Spatula. But, but you can call me captain, if you like. Man, this is, this is gravy. This is, a, this is a really nice ship you got here. It's so clean. It's so many curves. I like curves. Uh, yeah. Hey, uh... Can, can I fly? Here, here, let me fly. Look at me! I'm the captain now! <laughs> sorry, I crashed. I won't do that again. I'm sorry. Wow. Not flying is kind of fun. I thought I'd be bored just sitting here, but I don't have to worry about crashing, and I can look at all this stuff. Look! Look at this! Look at that! Look at this! Oh, hello there! I can see everything. Why, why am I wearing a space helmet? Wow. That's a, that's a cool helmet. Oh, look at that. It's a star. I know what that is. L look at this. Oh, this is the best thing ever. Look at me. I'm flying, Jack. I'm flying. I'm free as a bird. Free to go to the sky. Oh my god, this is amazing. What the? Goddamn motherfucker. Oh. Oh. 
Okay, screw this community service. I'm the captain of my ship, and I should get my own co-pilot. Not be someone else's puppet. Of course, a Diamondback is basically a cockpit strapped to a rocket, so I headed back to Seoul to pick up a more roomier ship. Uh, Nova, uh, please edit this landing out of the log. Affirmative. Thanks. I put out the ad for the co-pilots wanted, and I waited, and waited, and went to the bathroom, and then waited some more. Eventually, Willie, my orca, started getting impatient. But with modern teleportation technology in place, there was no sense waiting around for someone to come inside me. They can do that anytime with teleportation. So I decided to take my Willie out for a spin. I had never needed a co-pilot before this, and I had tons of fun. Just me and the empty chair. Sure, it's pretty great to look over and see someone else in the cockpit, but those chairs are pretty good looking too. You have to give credit to the chair people, the people who make the chairs. When there isn't someone sitting in it, you get to see more of the chair, and they're very nice. Hey, it's Earth! Hey, it's upside down too. Silly Earth. <laughs> oh, ho, ho. oh, it would have been nice to share that moment with someone, but uh, I guess no co pilot for me. I'm a lone wolf. Well, just me and Willie. And a ship never lets its captain down, unless it blows up. But not Willie, she's sturdy as a rock. You hear that, Willie? Oh, uh, let me speak to you in whale sounds. Um, uh, <laughs> That's right, Willie. Everything looks good to go. Wait a minute. Who the heck are you? Oh, hi there. You must be my new co-pilot. I, I hope my whale sounds weren't um, off-putting, you know? Hey, where'd you go? Oh, um, my teleporter must be on the fritz again. Uh, don't fiddle with it. You'll be just fine. Ooh, this is exciting. We're, we're, we're going to go on an orca expedition. We're going to check stuff out. We're going we're to see the sights of the cosmos, see if we can find any mysteries. And Hey, you're not allowed to fly. Stop fiddling with the joystick. It, it doesn't do anything. I disabled it. See, look. You know, you're going to mess with the systems. You don't want that happening. Hey, look. You're, you messed up the teleporter. Next time you might find yourself beaming into space if you don't stop bashing those controls. Alright, so we're almost at our first stop. We're gonna fly in uh, formation with a bunch of ships here. Hope you remembered your formation flying school lessons. Uh, you did go to school, right? Because I, I put that in the ad. And so far you've been pretty silent, which is cool. You know, I get it. It's a cloak of mystery. A bit cliche, but... Anyway. Alright, so let's get, let's get in formation. Come on, guys. All right, Orca coming in, flying, flying tight, flying tight with my buddy here. Ooh, a little too close. Okay, okay, back it up, back it up. All right, that's some, that's some tight f formation flying for you. We're gonna we're gonna formation fly to the the end of the. Whoa, hey, look at that guy. This is cool. I can see I can see everything. Ooh, whoa, a bit too close. All right, back it up. But whoa, just hey, watch it, guys, coming through. All right, that's enough flying for that. Yeah. Hey, look at that little buddy, a gas giant. Wait, I, I told you to stop fiddling with the teleporter. It's on the fritz. Just hold tight. There's something special planned. All right, you see that moon up ahead? Well, that's no moon. It's an asteroid base. But I also wanted to use the Star Wars quote. Okay, buddy. Let's head inside and check this puppy out. Okay, easy does it. If it fits, I sits. That's what, what they used to say. Whoa. Wow. Now that's something. I had never been to an asteroid base before, and from the look on my co-pilot's face, I could tell he had neither. There's something about those raw, rocky walls that makes me think of my childhood. I've been thinking about settling down for a bit, finding a sort of, I don't want to say home, but base of operations in the galaxy. Maybe this would be a good candidate. And nope, the rent is too, too damn high, and there's no missions yet. Oh well. There's plenty of other stuff around for me and my new best buddy co-pilot to check them out as a team, a unit, a family. But maybe that's it. Maybe home isn't just a set of coordinates with easy station access, good bounty hunting spots, and lots of factions with stackable missions. I mean, when you're with a friend, you are home. What do you think about that, buddy? You're my home. Oh, huh? sorry. I, I was AFK. I I meant to log out. What the whole time? Uh, my mom's calling. I I, I gotta go. Mom? Bye. What the hell? A child. 
alone again. Well, it's not that bad. Just look at all the, look at all the stars out there. I'm not alone. There's plenty of little lights, little lights to keep me company. Look at them whizzing by. It'd be nice if one would just stop and stay a while. <sighs> What the fuck? Were you? Home was home then, my dear. 